In this video, we're going to look at the fundamentals on how to create and manage your library assets in Camtasia so that you can be more productive. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Gord here. Welcome. If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with videos and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. The Library. The Camtasia for Windows Media Library comes loaded with lots of cool, new and engaging assets. Intros, animated backgrounds, icons, lower thirds, and music. In addition to the assets to get installed, there are additional assets available on the TechSmith site. This is accessible through the Get Online Media function inside Camtasia. This function is just a link out to the TechSmith library download page. I've also included the direct link in the description below. I saw some extra assets there that were not in my installed library, and so I can download them and import them into the library. Note that some assets have the .libzip file extension and others, for example icons, which are images, have a .zip extension. Once you download the assets, you can easily import the .libzip files into your library. The .zip files need to have the contents unzipped and then you can easily drag and drop them to the media bin or library, wherever you desire. Using assets in the library. All assets can be previewed just by double-clicking to open. To add an asset to your project, just drag and drop it onto the timeline or under the right mouse button select Add to Timeline at Playhead. With the asset on the timeline, you can further customize it if you wish. If you enhance it with the desire to save it back into the library as an update, you can do that as well, but be sure you erase the original once you've saved an updated version. If you decide you want to delete an asset that you've already added to the library, just select the asset in the library and use the right mouse button option, Delete from Library. You will be given a warning dialog as part of the process. Building your own library assets. First, I suggest you create your own media folder in the library to contain your custom library assets. I already have my Gord Custom Assets folder in place where I store my branded assets that I use in most of my YouTube videos lower thirds, intro bumper, remember to subscribe clip, and my end session screen. Some of these items were externally created assets that I imported into the library, while a few of the lower thirds assets were built by reusing and adapting lower thirds that came with Camtasia. If you haven't already seen my awesome video on creating lower thirds based on the free lower thirds assets that come within Camtasia, then click on the card above or find the link in the description below. Building Library Assets from Projects As we create videos, we may decide that certain things we create on the timeline are worthy to keep for reuse. For example, you may do certain style callouts, title slides, transitions, call to action clips, and music that you want to reuse in other videos for consistency. To save these items in the library, you can select an individual item on the timeline or select several, i.e. a group and click the right mouse button Add to Library or Control Shift plus A option. You will notice that when you have selected multiple items, they automatically get grouped together and you will see a prefix in the library asset name indicating group underscore. You can even make a selection of an area on the timeline that covers many media items and then select the right mouse button Add Timeline Selection to Library option to add to the library. This will also create a group item. Don't forget to rename the library item to your liking and also move the assets by dragging them to the desired folder. Import media to library. Most of the time we import media into our projects into the media bin. We can also import an asset directly into the library. There are a whole host of video, image, and audio media file types that can be imported as a library asset or into the media bin. We can move any given asset into an existing folder or create a new folder to contain the asset. For a detailed look at the media that can be added to the library for use in Camtasia Windows projects, check out the following TechSmith article. You will also find a link in the video description below. There are lots of great best practices nuggets in this article. When you right mouse button click on a folder, you will see that you can import media to that folder. 
Delete from the library, Export selected assets, and Rename. Import media to the folder is just like import media to library, except it gets placed in the given folder. Delete from library will allow you to delete the entire folder of assets. You are given a warning before proceeding to execute the delete action. Exporting and importing selected assets or the complete library. Exporting selected assets or the entire library involves creating a Camtasia.libzip file. This export file may be used to share with others or even serve as a backup. Since you can delete things from the library, it's not a bad idea to have an occasional backup of the library or assets. To bring the assets back into the library, you will need to use the import feature. If you accidentally bring in duplicate assets, they are put into a separate folder with a copy number in brackets. Import and export Camtasia library assets. For exporting library assets, click to select an asset or file folder. To select multiple files and folders, press the control key to select each file or folder you want included. Then press the right mouse button Export Selected Assets option. You are then prompted with a dialog where you can choose the folder location for the export. The export creates a .libzip file. If you wish to export the entire library, just right click in the open area below in the library and select the Export Library option. To import Camtasia library assets, you can click on File, Library, Import Zipped Library. You will then be prompted with a dialog box to browse and find the .libzip file you wish to import. Another option is to drag and drop the file from the Windows File Explorer right into the library. Wow! Now you know all the fundamentals to effectively use the Camtasia library. Be sure to also check out the second video I created with the 8 additional tips to help you further leverage your use of the library. If you want more cool tips for video creating and you wish to create better videos from home, click on the link for my free ebook. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe icon on this page so that you can get more videos like this in the future. And thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.